was your night? Not bad. Uh, good room service. And, uh, but probably not to be repeated for us. <laughs> Very good. Well, I've come to, uh, to authorise your release from detention. So it's the morning after the night before. Um, how are you feeling? Um, I feel that I've been through an experience that I don't want to do again. Um, I think I've got some of the emotions that might, a detainee might have, having been locked up for 14 hours uh, and with no ability to, to get out of that cell. So it, I, it's, it's a lesson that, that I think is, is worth doing. And of course, at the time, I'm, I will be and am promoting uh, those uh, custody visitors who came to visit me last night and asked about my welfare. They did their job properly. Thank you. How are you doing? Good evening. Fine. Good evening. Fine. Um, are they looking after you all right? They have, yes. I've Very been, good. I've been checked in. Uh, yeah. They've asked about everything. Have they offered you anything to eat or drink? They have. And um, sorry. Have you, have you actually accepted it yet? You've got a drink, by the way. Are you warm enough? There's I think so. I, I, I mean, look, it's quite warm in here. Yeah, mm. That's good. Have you been able to let anyone know you're here? Um, I have. And have you had an offer of a solicitor? Uh, I have. Very good. And have you got any worries or anything that you want to ask us? No, no, no. no. It's, um, you know, it's been quite a long night. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you been here very long? of doing this is, is, is really to un so I can understand some of the vulnerabilities that uh, detainees will have wh whilst they're in custody and I've got a flavour of that I don't claim that I, that I uh, totally understand it but I've got a flavour of what they might feel being locked up feeling vulnerable not, not knowing what the future might hold for them and I, I want to make sure that the those who come into custody are properly treated certainly those with mental health problems a number of our armed forces veterans can end up in custody and I'd like to know uh, how they're treated and how in, in the long run we, we can stop people coming into custody. And on a personal note, what's it like when, the, when that door slams and the, uh, and the lock clicks and, and, and you're, you're there by yourself? I haven't felt so lonely for some time uh, and you feel rather helpless uh, but you, you think, well I'm here. Uh, I'm not beginning at getting out for some time. Uh, let's just think about it. Make yourself as comfortable as you can. And it's actually quite a good chance to reflect on all sorts of things. And uh, what was the uh, experience of, uh, uh, you know, middle of the night? Was, was, it, was it noisy? Was it quiet? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I could hear other, other detainees coming in, uh, some noisier than others. Um, but I... I I heard good things from the custody sergeants and the detention officers. I heard hu human, human comments uh, like we're here. To, we're, we're actually here to help you. We're not. We're not. We're not here to um, make life worse for you. And of course, all of them who come in here, they're certainly innocent until they're proven guilty. That's really the point behind our custody visitors. That they are there to make sure that they're they're properly looked after, as we as you would expect any relative of yours to be looked after. And uh, for overall, you wouldn't say this was uh, an experience you'd recommend? It is not. And it's not meant to be either. Uh, but I still, there's, still a, there's still a human and there's a welfare side to this, which is important. But of course, if someone needs to be taken off the streets because they're, they're, they're being violent or act, acting in a way that is harming others, we have to have this custody suite. We, we need it. And it's used about 3,000 a year come into the custody suite here in Lewington. And that's... There is a rule for a reason that they, they have been um, apprehended, that they're doing something that could cause danger to others, so this is, this is the place for them.